Hello friends, welcome back, welcome if you are new. Today I'm gonna go through um, our last Costco haul, um, but also just kind of a rundown. I think for the month of October, I know for the month of September, we went over our grocery budget. Um, it just is what it is. <laughs> we purchased a lot of things um, and some spur of the moment stuff, but um, I think for the month of October, I'm going to try to rein it back in and just take a look at what we have. I'm gonna walk you through what we do when we try to pull back in on our grocery budget. So if that's something you like to see, make sure you stick around. and I have just printed off a freezer inventory sheet from Pinterest. Um, you can look on there and then just hit like pantry or freezer inventory and you will get a lot of options. So I've just picked one. Um, I will link below the one that I am using, but I'm going to transfer all the inventories from that kind of scratch paper I was using onto this. I did print it at 82% so that it would fit in my classic happy planner. And the way that I like to do it is have more of the ingredient type things on the front side. And then on the back side are like my freezer prep meals. So meals that are already ready to go, whether that be the freezer prep meals that I do, or um, we have like a couple of bags of Trader Joe's orange chicken. So it's kind of a meal that's already done. The next thing I'm gonna do is pull out a note, sh a note sheet <laughs> from my planner, and I'm just jotting down some ideas for meals um, based off of what was in those inventories. I didn't inventory the pantry in this, but because I had just kind of been in there and gone through things a little bit, so I already knew what was in there. So I, I know it's in my pantry, so I don't need to write it down, but if that's something that you haven't checked in a while, you might wanna inventory that as well. And here I've pulled out a blank meal plan sheet. This is just something I created on Google Docs and I'm putting in the dates, but I'm also checking in my planner to see if there are any special um, upcoming dates for October. So for example, our wedding anniversary is in there. So I know for that night we may wanna eat out or we may want to do something special at home. And then I do the meal planning in pencil because there's a lot of moving stuff around sometimes and I just I like it better in pencil. I also have a highlighter out because I wanna highlight the things that I'm going to use so that I'm not counting on one meal to serve us twice. I know that I've already used it if it's highlighted. Okay, so I was able to go ahead and put out dinners for the entire month um, just using what we had on hand. And what I do is as I write it down, um, you can see where I've highlighted to kind of show that this is things I planned on using and we still have plenty in there to kind of makeshift things. Um, here for the chicken where there's like nine, I think in there, um, I just put little hashtag marks here for how much chicken I think I'm gonna use. So then I'll mark it out as we do it. So I think we're off to a good start. Um, this is kind of our game plan for the month. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in like lunches and breakfast. Um, but I won't make you watch all that. And now here's what we purchased the last time we went to Costco. This trip actually happened before I sat down and did the inventory. So it's just kind of um, a list of things that we usually get. All right, from Costco, we got another thing of trash bags. We needed, um, we're running low, so we got another one of those. We got this ramen. This is just the noodles. Um, we've had this before when we kind of make our fake noodle soup. So we got another bag of beans. I got just two bunches of bananas this time around. We also got milk like we usually get. Um, I went ahead and I bought a bag of salad. I think tomorrow night we might do um, like a taco salad. So I just went ahead and bought that one for that. We also got these um, pop stickers. They were on sale for a 
about eight dollars probably a little less um, I will put up the price for what we paid for that we got more wings we like these buffalo wings um, because it is football season and we watch football here at home and so we got those for snacks and we also got some chicken nuggets. Um, we had tried these, I think, last month or the month before. Um, and we just ran out. So we bought another one of those chocolate chips, pistachios, because my husband and I snack on these also. And we're almost out of the, the first bag we bought. So another one. Cheese. I like to shred our own cheese. And I'm not um, had enough to put in an Azure order yet. That's typically where I like to get our cheese. Um, so we just got one from Costco. Doritos, that's kind of a staple in our house too. Tortilla chips. I got parchment paper from Costco because um, I'm going to be I'm low on it. And then I just I just went ahead and grabbed it there at Costco. Another one of these, better than bouillon, um, like chicken base, chicken flavor. I use this instead, instead of bouillon. <laughs> and then I went ahead and purchased, we got one of these um, things of croissants. We've been wanting to do ham and cheese croissants. So I think we'll do that for like breakfast. I'll send some with my hubby to work tomorrow. I also bought um, this like shelf stable oat, oat milk. I really like oat milk, um, but we ran out of our milk so fast this month that I thought it would be a good idea to have some shelf stable um, milk on hand because I don't have room for two of these um, Costco boxes in our fridge. So we'll have this as backup. This time around we got for the snack box some fig bars. Um, the original fig is like everybody's favorite. We kind of just tolerate the other two flavors, but it's nice to have on hand. Um, more protein bars. These are um, our favorite there. This was on sale. Um, this is the Orgain. I really like their protein powder. And this one is the vanilla. This one is their simple. So I think it's supposed to be, yeah, made with simple ingredients, golden peas, peanuts, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, and almonds. Um, sometimes I will like, I like to put a scoop of protein in the kids' um, smoothies. And so I like to try to buy as clean as I can protein powder for that. So I just got this vanilla. We bought guacamole. I like to put these individual ones in the freezer. And I think we only have like maybe one tiny cup in the freezer or two. Um, so I got another one while we were there. We also got cottage cheese. I really like this brand. I like the low fat one, but this is what they had at Costco. So this is what we went with. So I got these and then I also got um, some more sausage. It was still on sale. So this is pretty good clean ingredients and really great macros um 110 calories for one link six fat grams one carb and 13 protein so i got another one of those and then we just got um some i want to call it bath tissue because that's what it says toilet paper <laughs> we got toilet paper so that was it um and this came out to a little over 270 i will put it on there um yeah this was impromptu but i mean it's we're gonna use everything i just Yep. I don't know. I did not do well with the grocery budget this month. So that's that. I forgot. We also got two packs of eggs while we were there. So that was added in the Costco. Okay. So that is it. That is kind of our game plan for October. I don't want to say we are having a no spend because that next to never works out for me. So we are going to call it our low spend October. Kind of rein in um, our spending and keep better track at what's um, going out in the budget, what we're spending, and what we're spending it on. So right now I know it is just a high um, overarching groceries and our grocery budget does include our household, household items as well. So things like toilet paper or paper towels, um, napkins, cleaning products, anything like that, um, it is included in our grocery budget. And so, like I mentioned, we did go over a lot. I think we just about doubled, if not more, our September budget. So for our low spend October, we're really gonna be going through our pantry and freezers and kind of making do with what we have at home. Um, we will just keep repeating to ourselves, there is food at home. <laughs> our problem um, for September, or not our problem, but where the leak was, was not um, eating out so much because we didn't really do very much of that. It was um, going to the grocery store too often and oftentimes not having um, a concise enough list, I think. I got away from, if you watch any of our other videos, I was doing the monthly meal plan and then shopping from that and then really trying to stick to just that monthly meal plan. Um, this time around this month, I just let us have a lot of fun. Um, if you saw, we also went to Trader Joe's and did a kind of 
fall haul thing. I will link that video um, in the cards and then in the description if you wanted to see. We only do that like two to three times a year to head over to Trader Joe's because it's not in our area to kind of pick up some of their specialty goodies. So that was a nice treat. Um, yeah, just lots of little things that ended up adding up. It is all going to be eaten. It is not going to waste, um, but we just want to kind of hone down in for October. I think this will be a great start for um, the upcoming holidays um, to kind of better plan that out and get back on our feet before we enter that season officially with the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays coming up. Um, I'm super excited about that. So stay tuned to see how we did um, for this month. Thanks for joining me and coming alongside me as I kind of set up my monthly plan for October for our grocery budget. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and then um, consider subscribing if you are not already. And thank you for watching. It truly, truly means so very much to me.